What do you do when you're not a profitable trader and you want to start making money and turn your trading performance around? Many traders focus on the wrong things, especially unprofitable traders very often have a wrong assumption of what it takes to become a profitable trader or what really matters in trading. Many traders believe that all it takes is just finding the right entry and everything else will be fine. However, we have taken a look at dozens and dozens of journals over the years and we have seen that what keeps traders from making money is not having wrong entries or bad entries. It's about not trading at a high level of efficiency. And efficiency refers to how well are you able to stick to your rules? How disciplined are you? Because no matter how good your trading rules are, no matter how good your system is, if you cannot execute the rules and if you cannot stick to the rules, you, it, it will not matter and it will not make a difference in your trading account and your trading performance. So before you get into the trade parameters, before you start working on your reward to risk ratio, improving your targets, looking in your entries, working on money management, the first thing that you need to master is yourself and you need to really make sure that you can stick to your trading rules. And in Edgewonk we build two very important features for that. First of all, we are going to the chart lab and here at the bottom you find the efficiency. Let's turn on the light mode for the sake of the video. And here on the Y axis on the left, you will see efficiency in percentage. And efficiency refers to how well are you able to stick to your rules. So when you go to your journal, you can open any of those trades and let's just take a random trade. We go to advanced trade data and here you have the comments for your trade entry, your trade exit and your trade management. And we can open those drop downs and here you describe how did you manage your entry? Was it a good entry? Was it a late entry, an early entry or was it a mistake overall? And you can already see the perfect entry is marked here in green which means that it, it describes a positive trading behavior and the other ones are marked red, which means that they show that you broke your rules. So a green comment will positively impact your efficiency and a red comment will negatively impact your efficiency. And if you have three positive comments, it means that this trade has a 100% efficiency. If you have, for example, two out of three are green, it means that you have a 66% efficiency. And what you want to see is efficiency at 100% is probably not realistic. And every trader at, at one point will inevitably make a mistake, sometimes just because of sloppiness or just not paying attention. However, you want to trade at a range which is probably somewhere in the 60 to 80 range. This is from our experience, what we have seen is where the traders see the best uh, improvements or where they have the best impact on the account performance also. Having too high of expectations can also weigh heavily on your mindset once you realize that high expectations cannot be met. So early on in your trading career, if you're not profitable yet, focusing on getting the efficiency graph pointing in the top right corner here, this should be your main priority. Another thing which is connected to the efficiency is in the journal our tilt meter. You will see here this tilt meter and as an Edgewonk user you can here go to your journaling course and we provide several lessons and we also have some challenges for you. And the first challenge is the tilt meter challenge and we put it right in the beginning because the tilt meter challenge forces you to work on your discipline and the tilt meter challenge basically says that you want to keep your tilt meter green at all times. So what does it mean when you have a green or a red tilt meter? First, let's open this trade. You can see we have a very large green tilt meter. And when we go to advanced trade data, we'd see that we have a positive e entry comment, we have a positive exit comment, and we have a positive trade management comment. So we have a high positive tilt meter. Here, for example, we have a small red tilt meter. Let's open this trade. And here you see we have a red entry we have a green exit and we have a red management. So two out of three are negative. And overall, this sums up to a small uh, tilt meter in red. 
So you can see a positive comment will impact the tilt meter in a positive way and vice versa. And you can either enter your comments on the fly when you enter a new trade or you can go to your settings, to your comments and here manage yours. You can see we have the three different categories, trade entry, trade management, trade exit. You can add a new comment here with this green button. You enter the title here. You can change the rating between neutral, positive, negative. You can also delete it later on. And this is how you can set them up or manage them later on. And as a new, inexperienced, struggling, unprofitable trader, I would always recommend that you focus on efficiency and the tilt meter first because no matter how good your rules are, no matter how much time you spend tweaking your rules, if you cannot stick to the rules, it will not matter and it will not manifest in your trading account.